Here we're, we're asked what data table represents univariate data. The word uni or one variate data. It, mean, it literally means one variable. So this might be a little difficult to think about at first, but usually it's just a frequency. For example, how many people are in your class? Well, there are 32 kids in my class. That's a frequency or a univariate measure. Um, a bivariate, by comparison, a bivariate um, looks at the relationship between two things. If you were to say, um, what's the relationship between the number of students in your class and the average test score, right? So maybe as the more and more students, does that affect the test scores in your class? Well, that's a bivariate um, measure. It, it's, the, it's usually the connection between two variables. So when they ask for univariate data here, we're looking for the, the choice that really deals with one variable, and that's actually choice three. It just gives the age groups and the amount of people in the age groups. It doesn't tell you really anything about them, but just tells you the number, literally, of people in those groups. All the other ones, like this first choice, side length of a square, an area of the square, well, the side length of the square, if it's two on each side, the area will be four. If it's three on each side, the area will be nine. In other words, these two, these two variables affect each other. It's bivariate data. And then here, the hours worked in pay, right? Obviously, the, well, maybe not obviously, but the more you work, the more you get paid. That's always, hopefully, the case. Here, the number of people and the number of fingers. Well, the more people you have, the more fingers there will be around, which is kind of a weird connection, but still a bivariate connection. 